It's been an incredible year uh, for innovation across virtual reality and augmented reality and mixed reality. We've seen an astounding level of creativity and immersive storytelling in these new mediums with everyone trying to pioneer uh, the next thing. Um, we're going to continue to power AR and VR growth with 2017.2. It's stacked with features, including several specific AR enhancements that I'd like to bring two people up to tell you about right now. Please welcome Sarah and Brad. Ever since I was a little girl, I've been passionate about art and creation. And as I grew older, that passion grew into a love for technology. And I ended up getting a degree in engineering. But there's always been that one consistent love for taking what's in my head and bringing it out in front of me, whether that be on a canvas or on a screen. I used to be a grain farmer in northern Canada. And early on, I learned how important new technologies were to be successful. At that point, I was already thinking about how data overlays and computer vision could have such a massive impact on what we were doing, not only in farming, but in everything. And that's really when I got the bug for augmented reality. I think that there's so many possibilities of this technology from using it to uh, design your future home and envision that, or bring your favorite characters to life and put them on your coffee table. But I also think there's so many scenarios that we don't even know about yet. and things that can come of this that we, we can't even begin to imagine. At Unity, we're, we're on the forefront of this technology, but, but we really need all of you to help us realize its full potential and, and realize how this technology is gonna integrate with our lives. The challenges that creators are facing with augmented reality today are unlike the challenges that creators have faced with any new technology before. And honestly, it's really cool that we get to solve these problems together. Please welcome Sarah Stumbo and Brad Wires. As you probably know, Unity powers all the major platforms for VR and AR. With Unity 2017.2, we support a few new platforms, Microsoft Windows Mixed Reality headsets and OpenVR for Mac OS, as well as Vuforia. Vuforia is a native built-in platform that allows experiences where you can interact with everyday objects. We already have a robust set of features and integrations for XR. Just look at all of the tools that are available right now for you to start innovating. Tonight, we're just going to take a little bit of time to demonstrate some of the latest enhancements. Unity now supports Google's AR Core and Apple's AR Kit. We've seen thousands of developers, pioneers, explorers jump on and help solve some of the hardest design and technical problems. Now we want to demonstrate and show you a few of these features. All right, so I was browsing the asset store, and I found this drone. And I thought it'd be really fun if we could take that drone into AR and fly it around. So I actually have an AR app running on my device right now. Uh, before I put the drone in, I just want to go over the three key features for Unity mobile AR development, and that's plane finding, motion tracking, and light estimation. So we can see plane finding in action here. These blue lines represent the plane that my app has found. So when my app is running, it's searching for planes and feature point, and that's just a representation of that plane. So when I tap here, my object will appear. And what I just did is I shot a little ray cast out of the camera and detected to see if it collided on that AR plane there. So uh, now my drone is there. I added a little timeline onto it to just make it animate slowly down. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to have to start it over because I just lost tracking there. One second. <laughs> nice one, Sarah. Yeah, I know. All right, and it's back. It only took a couple seconds. All right, so now that my object is there and I still have the app running successfully, I'm able to move around it. And this is because of motion tracking. So my device's camera is actually matched to the Unity camera in the scene. Now, the drone looks pretty good, but it could look even better using light estimation. Ooh, there it goes. 
So if I turn light estimation on with this button here, what that does is it takes the lighting from the environment and it maps it to my object so it makes it look more real. And if I move my drone over there, then it gets darker. Now, it's important that if you're building an AR game, you want to test changes as frequently as possible, but you don't want to have to build the device every time. And a great way to do this is with Unity's AR remote feature. So let's take a look at that on my Mac here. So right now, it's just a big green screen. And when I hit Start, it's going to start this remote AR session. And it's going to pull these real world elements into the editor so that I can actually test my changes without having to push them to my device every time. And just like that, my plane appears. And I can pop my drone down there. So this will save you a ton of time if you're building AR projects. Now that Sarah's shown us the basics, let's have a look at this in the editor. So the first thing you can see here is that I've added a track pose driver component to the camera. This enables motion tracking, like Sarah brought up earlier. This component is cross-platform, and you can even use it for VR. So I can set up a VR controller with this object, with this component, and it'll match the object in the scene. Another feature here that you can't see because we handle it for you is our AR background renderer. This is what allows CG content to render on top of the real world. It's built in and optimized for performance, which means you'll have more room to build immersive content. Now, since both of these features are cross-platform, this will allow you to target more devices and reach a wider audience. Yeah, because there's going to be like new AR devices coming all the time. So. Um, another thing I want to point out is uh, the drone model that we used. We got pretty lucky because it actually matches up to the scale of the real world or the augmented reality world. But let's say I want to replace it with something bigger, like a rocket ship or maybe a blimp or taking a whole environment and putting it onto a table. I don't want my objects to appear at full scale. They would just be way too big, and you probably wouldn't be able to see them because your camera would just be inside of the object. Um, and artists, when they author their assets, they're authoring them at full scale most of the time. So to solve this, Unity has developed a scaled content solution for AR. That means you don't have to reauthor or manually scale all your assets, particles, lighting, physics, or even gameplay mechanics like shooting distance or walking speed. We take care of this for you, which basically means that there are thousands of assets out there that are AR ready right now. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so I've taken uh, the app that I started with just the drone, and I've added a bit more functionality to it to make it more interactive. So um, let's pull up my device. Oh, let's not pull that up. <laughs> I think. Is that your personal phone? Yeah. <laughs> There we go. That's what I like to see. Shameless plug, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm running this on my Android now, which means I'm using the Google AR Core SDK. And it's going to work really similar. So you can see that it already has detected this plane here. It's just represented with this um, blue mesh instead of the blue lines. So I can tap on that mesh, and my drone appears. Uh, now I just have a few controls, so I can actually fly my drone around. Whee! forward and back. And it's cool because it just looks like it's actually flying around in space. Now, just because I'm flying it around this space doesn't mean that my app isn't still thinking about the planes and the feature points. Actually, I can just drop something on the ground right now. And we can see up there that we have a little message for you all. Welcome to Unite. And you all look great. <laughs> So this is just one simple example of how you can leverage Unity for mobile AR development. The last thing I want to leave you with is this. All of the features and workflows that you need and love in Unity apply to AR development, which means any AR creator can take advantage of this. If you are a Unity developer, you are an AR developer. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Brad. So look, let me just double click on that idea a bit. U U Unity developers are now AR developers, if you choose. With the tools that 
Brad and Sarah just talked about, you have everything at your fingertips to take a run at um, what will be close to a billion mobile devices that will be AR ready over the coming 18 months. So somewhere out there is definitely the defining games on AR ready to be made using these tools. And if you need more education, we've got you covered. We've got you covered with you know, over 12, I think, XR sessions over the next two days for you to be educated at beginner and advanced levels so you can really make the most of these tools.